piece of paper. I am going to, let me see if I scoot all the way back. You can see me? Yes, okay. The lighting is not good in the, in here, but it gets the job done. You can still see me. It just looks like a little, a little cloudy, kind of. some arm circles. So, small ones to the front, just to get our, our shoulders primed. Our first strength move will work our shoulders and back. And then, small ones to the back. Okay, next we're going to stand up Onto our feet, we're gonna do an inchworm. So what that looks like is, you're gonna start standing, you're going to hinge at your hips, palm on the ground, hand, hand, hand. Go all the way out into a plank. Hold, one, two. Walk your hands backwards. And come all the way back up. We're gonna do five of these. So two. Three. Four. This is our last one, and we're going to get started. And five. Okay, so what we're going to do is it's going to be strength moves, but I'm going to set a timer. We're going to do 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Um, our first move, we have eight moves. First move is pullovers. If you have a bench, you can elevate your upper back. Or if you have a BOSU ball, that also works. But I'm going to just lie on the ground. I'll have the weight here, a slight bend in my elbows, and you're extending straight back, and then coming up. So we'll do this move for 50 seconds. I'll walk through and demonstrate all the moves first, and then remind you as we go. Our next move is a side plank to push up. So we'll do side plank here. Fold over, push up, back to side plank. If you need to, drop to your knees. I almost like to drop to my knees. So we'll do 25 seconds on our left side plank and 25 seconds on our right side plank. Next, we have bicep external rotations. So you'll pop up, have your biceps 90 degrees here, and you're gonna go out, 
and back in. Out and back in. Try and keep your elbows as close to your ribs as you can. Next, we have a pulse squat to single arm press. So you'll be here. Um, weights are at your shoulders. You're going to squat and pulse. When you come up, you're going to rotate and press that weight up. Squat, pulse, other arm. We'll alternate the entire time. Next, we have wide curl to press. So, oh no, just kidding. We have single arm lateral raise. Sorry, I can't read. So you'll be here, single arm. We'll raise one for 25 seconds and then we'll raise the other one for 25 seconds. Next, we have that wide curl to press, which I was talking about. So you'll be here, wide curl, make a W shape, and then press up. Wide curl that W and then press up. Our last one is my favorite one. It's core, but also will engage your shoulders. We're gonna, we call this a high knee plank. So you will be on your knee, and you'll be here reaching over top, and you're gonna bring your elbow to your knee, and then back out. This time we're doing 50 seconds on each side. So, we're going to try and do this four times through. That's the goal. And remember, we're working for 50 seconds, sometimes 25 seconds on each side. Um, but we only have 10 seconds to transition. Um, so you've got to have everything close by. And we'll just go ahead and get started. So our first one is pullovers on the floor. Lots of up and down, which will get your heart rate up a little bit, but we're still doing some strength moves. So we're going to start in three two, and one. So slight bend in your elbows. You're going back and up. Make sure that if you are on the ground, you have your lower back pressed into the floor. My entire back is touching the floor, which is what we want. That forces you to engage your core. We have 25 more seconds left, so we're halfway there. While you're here, go ahead and set your intentions for the day and for the workout. We have 13 more seconds left. And remember, doing these moves that you do not have to be Speedy Gonzalez. Three, two, and one. So lay your weight down. We're going to that side plank to push up. So you don't have to be speedy. I'm starting on my left side. You can be slow and control. I would much rather you do less reps, but better quality reps, than just speed through it. When you speed through things is when you get injured. Almost switching to that other side. Switching in three, two, and one. So now, pop up on your right side. And go down. We're almost there. We have 10 seconds left. What we did on one side, we can do on the other. It might just be a little bit harder, depending on what's your dominant side. Three, two, and one. Rest. Next, we have those bicep external rotations. So grab your dumbbells, and we're going in three, two, and one. So you'll be here. Now is the time to catch your breath. We're not moving a lot in this exercise. Big belly breaths here. Let your heart rate recover. We have 20 seconds left. Keep going, I'm gonna turn my heater off. Started moving. Okay, 15 seconds left. Almost there. Final 10. Next, we're going to pull squat to single arm press. So you can keep these weights or 
you know, go up in weight or go down in weight. I'm going to go, go down in weight. This is my third workout for the day. We're squatting, pulse, and press. Squat, pulse, press. So I'm still holding weight, just not as much as before, which is fine. You guys continue to push yourself. So we're alternating here. Almost there. We're halfway. Fifteen. Make sure that foot pivots when you extend. You want that whole side of your body to move. And rest. Next, single arm raise. Lateral raise. So one arm at a time, you'll be here, and go. We're, we're going to do 25 seconds on this side, and 25 seconds on the other side. Almost there. And switch to the other side. So I did my left, now I'm doing my right. We're almost there, 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. Again, what you did on one side, you can do on the other. You're resting in three, two, and one. Next, we have that wide curl to press. We're almost through one round. This is already going by so fast. Wide curl to press. W curl to press. That's what I like to think about. Making that W with that lower half of the curl. You're here for 30 more seconds. Keep going. We're almost there. Final 15. Bracelet's moving. We're resting in five. Almost there. Final three, two, and one. Drop your weights. Come down to the floor. We're doing that high knee plank with reach. So we're here. And bring your elbow to your knee. Again, slow and controlled is so much better. When you're slow and controlled, you'll feel that muscle contract, which is what you want. Slow and controlled reps also get us to that second stage muscle failure, which will break down your muscle muscles and allow you to build those lean muscles that everybody wants. We're in the home stretch. We have our final 15 seconds here. Last 10. This move is way harder than it looks. Final five. Three, two, and one. I'm thinking I kind of made this workout too hard. Okay, to the other side. Same thing, 50 seconds on this one. This is my left side, it's my non-dominant side. So, I already know that's my weaker side, which is normal. We're here to aim to build even bodies. Which, fun fact, because we only walk on two feet, that already puts us at a disadvantage. Animals that walk on four feet have less back problems, and their bodies are built more evenly. Science is cool. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're resting. We're gonna rest for a full minute here. 
and we're going to repeat. So grab a drink of water and I'll let you know when it's time. So we'll rest a minute here just to make sure that we can continue throughout the entire workout. Also, I don't know about you, but in those high knee plank with reach, that got my glutes on fire. I hope it got yours on fire too. <laughs> a little hidden muscle there. And that's tough. Yesterday we had uh, daily do a full body workout with one upper body heat, so. Mm. Yeah. I know. While I was writing this down, I, I trained a girl earlier this morning and I, I had her do a similar workout to this. And I wasn't doing it, I was just, you know, coaching her through it. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm like, crap, I know why she started to move slow there at the end. <laughs> okay, we're back on the ground. We've got those pullovers. So grab your weight, slight bend in those elbows. So here, a lot of people think it's similar to the tricep, ex uh, tricep extension, skull crusher. Um, it is similar in the sense that you're holding weight in your hands, but the motion is different. We're not bending our elbows 90 degrees. We've got 20 seconds left. We're extending back, causing our lats to have to pull that weight up. Whereas the skull crusher forces your triceps to work. Okay, final five. Three, two, and one. You can stay on the ground. We're gonna to go to that side plank with the push-up in three, two, and one. I'm starting on my left side. So here, roll over. I'm gonna go down to my knees and back up. Our obliques are gonna be shot after this workout. After this push-up, we switch to the other side. So I'm going to my right side plank now. Almost there, final 10. Three, two, and one. Pop up. Grab both weights. We've got those bicep external rotations. So 90 degrees with your elbows and go out. Again, we're not moving a lot here. Um, only our arms are moving. So we should be able to recover here. Big, deep belly breaths. Audible breathing is okay. I feel like people have a bad connotation to it because it makes it sound like you're out of breath. We're 10 seconds left. Which if I keep talking, you're gonna be out of breath. But audible breathing doesn't mean that you're out of breath. And rest. Okay, we've got that full squat to single arm press. Ready and go. So, pulse down, press up. Make sure you're pivoting that foot. You want to pivot here, because if you just turn the upper half of your body, it puts your lower back at risk. So make sure you're turning. When you turn, it allows you to keep that belly button to that spine, which you want. Almost there. Final 10. Give me two more reps. We've got it. One more. And rest. Now we've got that single arm lateral raise. Ready? So one side at a time. I'm starting with my left. 
Again, here. You want your belly button to your spine. I go to this workout class every Thursday and every Saturday. There's a guy that coaches it. He always tells us, you know, you want to hinge. You want to tuck your hips. Make your butt disappear into your legs. Other side, right arm. Or opposite arm. Which is just a funny concept because everybody trains to get a bigger butt. <laughs> so, almost there. Final 10. Slight bend in that elbow just to protect the joint. The joint. <laughs> um, and I like to think about le leading with your elbow. Next, wide curl to press. So again, here, it's easier. Should have worn a fitted shirt. But you want to think, belly button to spine, tuck those hips, pretend you have a cup of water right here and you're trying to keep the water in. If you're standing like this, doing a wide curl to a press, the correct muscles that are supposed to be working aren't working. And you'll also spill that water out. I hope this makes sense. 30 seconds. for a minute and then we'll go back to those overhead to the floor too. 
is I just tilt my pelvis under and it automatically makes that straight. So even when you're doing exercises on the floor, you want to think, okay, let me tuck my pelvis and belly button to spine to protect your lower back and also to allow the muscles that are actually supposed to be working in the exercise to work. If you don't have the correct core posture, your core and back is gonna overcompensate and take over the workout. Final 10 seconds. And rest. So next we have that side plank to push up. Three, two, and one. I'm starting on my left. And again, rainbow here when I come up to that side plank. And push up. Switch to your other side in three, two, and one. So right side. Breathing certain ways through the workouts also helps you engage the correct muscles. So exhaling in a plank like that forces you to cinch your core. Give me one more rep and then we're moving on. And rest. Next, we have those bicep external rotations. Remember, this is where we catch our breath. 90 degrees out and in.
30 more seconds. Few more reps, but you've got 10 seconds. Resting in three, two, and one. Back to that high knee plank with reach. Our favorite one, apparently. Officially halfway. We're in the home stretch. Final ten. Three, two, and one. Okay. We did three rounds with that. My goal was four, but I think instead I want to focus on the last, on the um, upper body moves, and we're just gonna focus on them um, for reps. So instead of getting 30 plus reps, maybe you increase the weight, we're gonna do 15 reps on everything, and we'll start with that pullover. So, down on the ground. And we're doing 15. So this is almost like a little, little mini pump finisher. We've got 15. Two. Three. Four. If you can do the reps faster than me, you need to go up and wait. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to pop up. What do we have next? Bicep external rotations. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going, we are still going to do that pause or the pulse squat to single arm press, except since it's, you know, on each arm. Instead of doing 30 reps total, we'll do 16, so eight on each arm. Okay, so 
We're going down. Pulse. This is one. So we're counting to 16. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Shoot, should have stopped at 10. We have six more. Six. Five. We've got this. Four. Keep going. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Okay. Single arm lateral raise. We are going to do 15 on each arm. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Pretend there is a string pulling your elbow up. I lost count. I think that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five. Push through. Four, three, two, and one. Other side. Two. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. We've got the wide curl to press. We are doing fifteen. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. These are our last five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, now what I want you to do is because, correct me if I'm wrong, this, does this class last until 12.15? I think it does. Yes, correct. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, now I have all of my clients do this, and we've been doing it all of March. So I'm going to have you do it as a fun little added challenge. I'm going to set a timer on the clock for one minute. You're going to take weights, be in goalpost position, and press up and then back down. I'm going to do it. I'll come on my knees and show you. Here, up and down. You're going to count how many you do in a minute. The highest somebody has gotten is 53. The average it's like 35. 53 is a lot. <laughs> 53 is a lot. That's like one per minute almost. Okay, so what what weights are you choosing? I've been pressing uh, 25, but I'm going to do 15 pounds, so that that's sort of a challenge there. So. Okay, well, I was going to say. Some, I, I recommend the lighter the better because a minute, you don't think it's a long time? Yeah, it's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm going to start the timer in three, two, and one. You have a minute on the clock. You're counting your reps, and I want to know how many you get. Keep going. We're 10 seconds in. You've got this. This is your last exercise for the day. So the point of this is to keep moving. It's also just a fun, a fun little challenge, but I want you to move the entire minute. Even if the reps get hard at the end and they're only half reps, you keep doing them. You're almost there. You are more than halfway there. Final 20 seconds. You're in the home stretch. Final 15, you're 
You're so close to being done. In 10 seconds, you can drop those weights. Give me a few more reps. Five. Resting in three, two, and one. So how many reps did you get? Oh, my 